Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be a quick video on the Golden State Warriors, specifically Jordan Poole, getting off to a fantastic ball or dynamite start in their postseason as they take a one to nothing series lead over the Denver Nuggets by a score of 123 to 107. Jordan Poole, after mentioned, was absolutely killer from point A to the finishing frame of this game as he had 30 points, one rebound, and three apples as well. Kevin Looney played good in 13 minutes of play. Wiggins did his thing. He basically just always pitches in a little bit. And then Thompson and Curry did good as well. But Jordan Poole was the man of the hour and star number one in this game. It wasn't even Clay Thompson. It wasn't even Seth Curry. It was or Steph Curry. It wasn't even Draymond Green. It was Jordan Poole who stepped up and stepped out for the Warriors being one of the big guys that you know is a good baller, but probably not somebody that you think is going to step out that much. Just like you know Tyrese Maxey's a great baller for the Sixers, but he probably expected Embiid or Harden to step out as much as he did. But no, it's Poole and Maxey for their teams leading the way in their first game. That's why the playoffs is freaking awesome, because you always seem to have something like that happen where the youngsters emerge and the other guys are able to take a step back at time. You never know what the storyline is going to be. You can't really predict a lot of playoff storylines game per game. You can predict series, but game per game, I don't think people have Maxi or Jordan Poole being the carrying weight first star of game when you look at the rest of the rosters <clears throat> of their teams. Those two are fantastic, brilliant players, but when you look at the rest of the rosters of their team, I don't think people had them pegged there. Jokic played solid 25-10-6. Again, not that good at defense, so that affects the Nuggets in the playoffs. Will Barden also played very good at 24 points with six rebounds and five assists. Barden definitely one of the underrated cats in the NBA. But the big thing to this game is the Warriors played good enough defensively. And the key is they got some production off of the bench. Eight from Bieka mixed in three points, two points. Um, obviously, Porter was able to give them a 25, not much. So you're going to need to maybe get more depth scoring as time goes on for them. But you're also going to see Curry, Green, and specifically Curry, and you would think Thompson, have far better games than 19 points and 16 points, respectively. So also that coming into the fact that they already won with them having those kind of games, and Jordan Poole being the carrying weight, is a great success story for the start of the playoffs for the Golden State Warriors. But they can't get ahead of themselves. This is only the point A where they have to get through much more games to get to the finish line and get to the glory, which is reclaiming the championship that they had for many years in a row <clears throat> as the Golden State Warriors, as now they have the new star, Jordan Poole, with Seth Curry, or with Steph Curry, excuse me, so he's just saying Seth because he was a former Sixer, and with Clay Thompson. So I think that team has a very good chance. I predict them to win in six games, to be honest, because I think the Nuggets are a good battling team. So I think that does have a chance to go to six games, but I would take the Golden State Warriors in six, who I got off to a blazing dynamite start. This has been a video on the Golden State Warriors getting off to a blazing dynamite start, led by Jordan Poole. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please subscribe down below to help us grow to 230 or more to meet our goal here at Sports Fanatic News for the end of April. Stay safe out there, everybody, and go Warriors.